back to the board as well. Uh, there are times when I've encouraged smart growth on Main through Buzzards Bay, and times that I was able to encourage smart growth down in Pocasset. I don't know how many of you have been driving up and down MacArthur Boulevard, and then in our Pocasset Tech Park, there's a large brand new building there. Yay! What's that? Hydroid! Hydroid, right? Hydroid. <laughs> Hydroid. There's a couple people in the town, in, in the room right now, that, that I, I've told the story to. I haven't told it to many, but I'll tell it to you. Um, that, that facility, state of the art, light clean industry, great for the town, great for the tax base. I played a small, very small, but <laughs> integral part of making sure that stayed here in the town of Warren. That came before the Cape Cod Commission in a couple of different, um, a couple of different volleys through the Fowler that <coughs> development uh, group. It's analogous to our board financial development group until the Fowler. They had been wooing Hydroid to leave the pass and re relocate next to Benthos over in North Carolina. That was basically slated to go forward. There was no opposition to it. Everyone in the, exec in the executive committee of the uh, Cape Cod Commission thought that seemed like a fine idea. Nobody was really speaking against it. Um, it seemed like a natural place for another Woodhull spin-off corporation type marine science endeavor to go. And basically the conversation around the room seemed to revolve around, this is a no-brainer, this is a very easy sell. Let's go ahead and move that direction. As soon as I heard the proposal, I was just dumbfounded. I stood up and I talked to my other executive committee members at the time and said, the Cape Cod Commission, we were founded to make Cape Cod and the 15 towns here on the Cape more competitive vis-a-vis -vis the rest of Massachusetts, the rest of the Commonwealth, not so that we could pick one town versus another town and see whether or not one town can take in a zero-sum game from one municipality to better another community, to our detriment. And born, we know, so many of us who have been around here for years, We've always been kind of the red-headed stepchild of Cape Cod, right? We've always been the pass-through town. We've always had the, the uh, traffic go to parts further out on into the Cape. We've seen tourism move in that direction. We've seen economic development move in that direction. And so, so few times do we have the opportunity to keep those um, economic development components here in our town. And I stood up and I said, that's absolutely the wrong way for us to go. This is a chance for Warren to have that kind of light, clean, progressive industry here, located here. We've got a lot of land and a lot of potential, a lot of the proper regulatory environment to allow that to flourish. Let's keep it here. Let's not steal it and move it five miles down the road so it benefits another town's tax base, but we have the opportunity to keep it right here. And all that really did at the time was just spur on the conversation that this was going to be somewhat controversial in a, in a room where folks thought it would not be controversial. And lo and behold, eventually, the proponents decided to back off. Hydroid decided to stay and invest. The Economic Development Corporation here worked with and tried to finesse that application and that development. And uh, now we have really the, uh, the cornerstone of what we hope will be another progressive tech park. And we'll have it right here in the town of Warren. We'll keep that here and hopefully attract other industries like that. So I, had a, I played a very small role in that. But it was it was the timing, being in the right place, the right time, and speaking up and making the right decision to keep that here, allow hybrid to stay here. Um, does that mean that I'm necessarily that pro development everywhere? No, not necessarily. I've got some good friends in the room from Borndale who then remember, despite the fact that I would have loved to have seen alternative energy <coughs> showing up in the town of Bourne, and the new generation wind turbine project was proposed across the bridge over in Borndale. A lot of my friends and neighbors on over there came and told me this is the right development in the absolutely wrong place. Uh, and despite the fact that I'm a very progressive uh, person when it comes to alternative energy, despite the fact that I would have loved to have seen a place for that board, it became very readily apparent when at uh, Cape Cod Commission hearings, 150 to 200 residents from Borndale regularly turned on out to remind the folks on the commission, the people on the board of selectmen, the planning board and elsewhere, this was not a development they wanted in their neighborhood. It was too close, too close to residential neighborhood, too many negative impacts. So we ended up making sure that that development didn't take hold and come to the town. So again, a lot of these development opportunities are coming down the pike. There are great opportunities for us to take advantage of, but we need to put the right developments in the right place. And I think I have some experience having dealt with that from the commission standpoint, also work on the Main Street Steering Committee in the town, uh, vis-a-vis Buzzards Bay and development there. 
I'd like to see our schools improve. I'd like to see our community building enhanced. And folks who can actually take a, uh, a strong look at the budget. I have a, a long business background. I get my, uh, got my MBA from UMass Dartmouth. Uh, I've worked with small business development in the Fall River area and all along the South Coast area with Chambers of Commerce all along that line. Um, currently, I've been a real estate broker and investment counselor for the past 15 years, all amongst the, the Upper Cape. And I also currently counsel the, um, the Aquinnah Wampanoag tribe over on Martha's Vineyard as to how to run their tribal court, and how to engage in federal nation to nation dialogue with federal officials, state officials, local municipal officials on elements of tribal law and how they run concurrently with regular non native municipal law. These are, I think, some of these experiences that coupled with the fact that I have a background here, growing up in town, listening to neighbors around my neighborhoods here neighborhoods all throughout the villages. Uh, I, I'd like to be uh, a, uh, a sounding board for all of you. If you have ideas and thoughts and ideas of issues you see, challenges you see, I'm open to that, I'm receptive to that, I want to hear those. And then see how we can work together to find solutions to those problems. So that's, I'm, I'm excited to jump on out here and try to serve you as I have for many years in the Foreign Housing Authority, the Main Street Steering Committee, the Cape Cod Commission. Um, I'm looking to serve now as a member of your select board. So if you'd be kind enough to endorse my candidacy and spread the word to your friends and neighbors, maybe we can accomplish this together. I've got a whole bunch of postcards that have a little bit of my background on them. I'm gonna ask each of you if you can take five or so of these and put them in the hands of five or so other voters you know and more and see if we can convince enough people to um, get my name to be pushed forward on May 19th on election day. So I have signs coming in another week. We'll see more of my canal in colors, purple and white. I am a product of Bourne. I went through all the Bourne schools from Peebles Elementary all the way up to Bourne High School class of 1986. Um, I've got roots here in the local community. And you know what, I've traveled. I've traveled around the country. I've lived in Washington, D.C. I've lived in Park City, Utah. I've studied abroad in mainland China. Um, I think I bring some a wealth of different experiences from the area as well as from the community. And I hope to bring these, uh, these experiences to the benefit of the South Board. So I'm asking for your vote on May 19th. I thank you so much for coming on out to support my candidacy. And if you have any questions about what you do, now's the time to ask. If you have any challenges or concerns you want to bring that I should consider as I go forward, I'd love to hear them. So I open it on up to any and all of you who want to Love it out. <laughs>